Hey guys, we're Adam and Steph, and for the last five months, we've been converting a 2005 international school bus into our dream home on wheels. This week, we're slapping footage together of us prepping the exterior of our schoolie for paint, and boy, let me tell you, this was a long time coming. I freaking hate sanding, you know? We started prepping the exterior pretty much as soon as we got the bus way back in February, as you can probably tell by the snow on the ground. We started by using a heat gun to remove all the reflective stickers off the sides and any other decals that the bus came with. This is the part of uh, schooly life they don't show you. <laughs> Scraping off gum off the side of your bus for six days. <laughs> After that, there was still a lot of sticky residue that was left and another huge job was removing it by spraying it with Goo Gone and scraping it off. Some out here on the roof. First time on the roof, actually. And now I'm gonna unscrew this thing and put a middle plate. And I'm going to do something with that, but probably not today. We hopped on the roof to remove the vent and emergency exit and covered them up with sheet metal using butyl tape and Sikaflex to seal and stainless steel rivets to fasten. So we've got some extra sheet metal from our skylight in the bathroom. Um, so we're going to take our emergency exit hatch out and uh, close it up with some sheet metal. So let's do it. Whatever the frick it's called. Sticker flex. And our beetle tape. So let's put it on. What are we doing? Well, I think it's time to bring back the scrap metal and make a little bit of money. You're probably wondering what we've done with everything that we've taken off the bus. And well, we sold the seats and windows on Kijiji. Hopefully we can sell some. But everything else has been piling up in the field behind our house. At this point, we thought everything that we needed to take out of the bus has already been taken out. So we decided to load up the trailer and bring everything to the scrapyard. To give you an idea of everything we brought, here's a list. Sheet metal from the roof, sheet metal from the walls, trim pieces from the floor, front half seats, an abundance of screws, swing arm with the motor, and batteries. So tell, tell them how much we made. We offloaded 1,412 pounds of scrap metal and we made $490.30. We, we had a couple catalytic converters from this truck in there. That's the half the money, but yeah. <laughs> you can make probably about $200, $250 on the scrap metal from your bus. Yes. We really want to get the best paint job that we can do on our own. So we took off all the lights. Now she's a naked bus. Hurry up before Jesus comes back. <laughs> Mirrors. So we're going to take these off. And these off next. Okay guys, we just took off one of the dome mirrors. You can see the other one's still there. And I'm team dome mirrors and he's team no dome mirrors. You feel can you feel how closer you can get to the bus? Oh, it's so nice. And any other fixtures that were still on the bus. We even took off the grill and the front fenders. We wanted to take the headlights off because uh, the part that we need to paint is underneath the plastic of the headlight, um, but we found it was easier to take this piece off and uh, the top edge here is uh, you can easily tape the headlight off from this part. So we took this part off to paint. So what are you doing? Explain the process. So I'm gonna cock all of these 
edges around the sheet metal uh, that we put up just to you know have nice clean edges and we've already put caulk in between all the seams so this is more just for aesthetics After everything was off of the bus, we started to do some body work, fixing any dents, scratches, or holes from rotting. We used Bondo for a lot of it, but the back top corner lights were so bad that we had to cut them out and weld in a new piece of sheet metal. Now, the most terrible and dreadful part of the entire paint prep of this bus, sanding, 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 and more sanding. We were able to do a lot of it with a palm sander, which is a lifesaver, but there's a lot of details in the bumper bars and around the rivets and the front area of the bus that needed to be done by hand. Prepping this bus was the hardest and most tiring part of our schoolie build so far, but we are so excited to prime and paint this bus to give it a new life. Stay tuned for our next video where we're gonna reveal the paint color and actually paint this bus. Also, thank you so much for 500 subscribers. We're so excited to share more of our bus build with you. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok for more updates. Bye!